Hi, we're excited here today to introduce the um, official support of Fobotire app with uh, Apple iWatch. So I've got a full setup here yeah, to, to do a quick demo on how does the watch uh, look like under pressure. And also uh, we'll do an alert on the uh, pressure tank. Uh, and, um, and this will show exactly uh, how the watch display uh, all the alerts and the notification. Um, so it's very simple. Um, just go to the uh, Apple App Store to download the uh, latest um, Fobo Tire app. <coughs> yep, so I've got Fobo Tire app here. And if you scroll down a bit further, you see the support for Apple iWatch. Yep. Download the app, <coughs> and what I have here is ready, all loaded up, all set to go. Uh, okay, first I'll show the, um, the Fobo Tire app. Yeah, so I've got three cast pad over here, yeah, three sets. And uh, what we're doing today here to show is the iWatch test, the last uh, car profile. Yeah. So if I tap on that, yeah, this is the, the pressure of where these sensors are inflated to, about 310 uh, kPa. Yeah. Um, and if I go to the uh, watch, <coughs> search for the FOBO app, which I have. Ah, no, hang on. So we have missed out a step. First, you need to actually go to the, um, the iWatch uh, manager after you install the app to enable certain features. Um, go to the iWatch manager, search for the Fobotire app, tap on it, it says show app on Apple Watch. Enable this and show in glances too. Enable two of this feature, yeah, which is uh, critical for the watch to work properly. And on top of that, just to be sure, go to the notification search for the uh, Fobo Tire app, <clears throat> yep, there you go, enable. So three things, um, after you have installed the app, uh, go to, to the Apple iWatch manager, search for the app, enable the, uh, the show app in, on iWatch and also the showing glances, and also go to the notification tab to enable this. Okay, well, we're all set now. So that's all ready. If I go to the iWatch now, launch the app, there you go. Now you see the um, Fobo Tire app icon on the iWatch. Yeah. Tap on it. <coughs> loading. Yes, yeah, booting up for the first time. So <coughs> it's exactly what is shown in the in the phone as well. Yeah, three car profile. Yeah, and uh, now the iWatch profile is active. Tap on it. Tap on this. Yep. It's a duplicate of whatever that you see on the phone. Yeah. So, okay, all right, that's all set. Um, <clears throat> I'll do two things today. First is to show a actual alert uh, by simulating a low pressure alert. I'll release some air from the air chamber uh, to show a, a real alert, uh, both on the phone and the uh, iWatch. Uh, but before I go to that, I'd like to show another feature. It's called uh, glances. So <clears throat> what you do is, uh, okay, I'll quit. I'll go back to the main screen. Okay, this is the main screen of the uh, Apple iWatch. Just do a swipe from bottom to up, yeah, and then go to search for, sorry, just search for the uh, Fobo Tire app. There you go. Yeah. This is basically a shortcut for user that <clears throat> all they need to do is, on the home screen of the iWatch, just do a bottom to up swipe, and you see the pressure readings of the car that you're driving. Yeah. So why I'm emphasizing this is that there could be many car profiles that you have paired to. For example, in this case, I have three car profile. But the, the app is made in such a smart way that it actually knows uh, which car you're driving. And by default, uh, it will show you the car that you're actually driving. Yeah. So this is a very quick and easy way for our watch user to check on the car pressure that uh, they're driving. All right. So <clears throat> um, now we'll simulate a low pressure environment to, to get a trigger. Uh, I'll go back to the main screen. Same for the phone. I'll go back to the main screen. I'll turn it off. Yeah. So I'll start to release the air of this pressure tank now. You can hear the sound. Okay, I've released um, 
<coughs> quite some air from the tank. Yeah, and um, we'll be expecting an alert uh, on all three devices here. <coughs> of course, the in-car unit. Yeah, now I'm showing on normal. It will give you an alert. Uh, the phone and also the uh, Apple iWatch. Yeah. So just give it some time. Well, this is uh, normal <clears throat> because I have let go, I've released the air um, and I didn't go to the critical level of 160 kPa, which should trigger an immediate alert. Yeah. So basically, um, uh, I have just like, oh, I got a vibrate on the watch, actually. And there you go. The in-car unit is giving you an alert now. Yeah. Um, okay. In fact, I was quite surprised that the, the notification on the vibrate on the watch came before the in-car unit uh, alerted. So let, let me bring up the watch now to show you. Yeah, so there's a red dot there. This, so it shows it's a notification. Yeah, now you see all the notification that you see here. I watch test front right, and basically all the pressure is too low. Okay, so now I want to get the actual reading yeah, of the pressure. I just need to do a, like a shortcut <clears throat> from um, bottom to up. And there you go. Yeah, all the uh, the four tires are showing a uh, low pressure alert, and it's in red. Um, it's really convenient. So our watch user basically just get a vibrate and uh, and some sound on the, uh, the the watch, which you'll feel it immediately, and then you can then read the actual pressure reading here. I mean, of course, there's two ways. Um, like I first said, you can either access the app through the shortcut through glances, which I did that, or you can actually go to the app menu, search for the Fobotai app, yeah, tap on the icon to bring up. It's the same thing, yeah. And of course, on this screen here, I can even go back <clears throat> and I can look into the other cars if they are with me. But in this case, two of the cars are not here, and only iWatch is here. Yeah, it's a really really cool feature, and again, one of the first in the world. First TPMS in the world that actually shows or support uh, uh, Apple iWatch. Yeah, so check out guys this new feature. Yeah, and of course, uh, same thing for the phone. Um, I got the same low pressure alert. If I bring up the app, yeah, it's all showing you red. So I've got all the data here being synced. Yeah, thank you.